Thank you very much. And now to a frightening thought. You go out for a walk and suddenly you're attacked by coyotes. It is happening in neighborhoods in Denver, Colorado. And as NBC's George Lewis explains, it has a lot of people there on edge. Come on, buddy. It was the last thing Jackie Levitch of Denver expected when she was walking her white lab Taz. Suddenly, three coyotes attacked her and her dog on the street where she lives. I pushed back and kind of fought the couple of them off and kind of got bit on the arm a little bit and just basically fought them off and they ran away. She's now undergoing a series of anti-rabies shots. Matthew Shepper was in this city park in Greenwood Village, 10 miles south of Denver, when a coyote went after him. It jumped up at my face or, or throat. So then I guess my subconscious mind took over and I elbowed it to the side and it fell to my left and just took off. Matthew escaped unharmed, but his mother says she's scared about what may happen next. Our kids can't walk to school. We can't walk to the park. So we're now kind of held prisoner by these things that don't have a predator and are aggressive and don't fear us. The city of Greenwood Village hired a sharpshooter to begin killing the coyotes. But one wildlife preservation group claims that doesn't really work. Coyote populations that are lethally controlled by humans, more coyotes will breed and they'll breed larger litters. It's a problem throughout the West where man has encroached on the wide open spaces, spaces the coyotes still consider their territory. So what should people do if they encounter coyotes? Don't run, but stand, stand your ground and tell that coyote, get back, get back, go away, be aggressive, yell at it, say, get out of here. Now, communities gripped by fear of the coyotes are trying to make them fearful of humans. For today, George Lewis, NBC News. Denver.